time is here. We are in full-blown summer mode. It is super hot outside. Sometimes it's fun to do other things with your horse instead of just riding them. How about taking his picture? Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from BudgetEquestrian.com where I share different ideas with you for you to make the most of the time that you have with your horse. And today I wanted to share some different photography tips with you for you to take photos of your horse. Because let's face it, we have these beautiful animals and we spend so much time with them, but do you have any pictures of them at your home? Some of us probably have a lot of pictures of our horses on our phones, but have you created a piece of art with your horse so you can look at it all the time? Especially if he's not living in your house, it's kind of fun to have pictures of your horse in your home. So I'm not a professional photographer by any means. I basically have two different cameras that I use. One for videos, which is a Canon camera. And then I have a Nikon DSLR D3400 for taking photos. That's what I use when I submit photos for the online horse shows. And if you've seen any of my videos on my online horse shows that I participated in, I've put the photos that I actually placed in the class with so you could see what they were like. So I just wanted to share some different tips with you so that if you wanted to either enter an online horse show or you just wanted to get some really cool shots of your horse, how you can make the most of the camera that you have or just some tips and tricks on getting started. If you're planning on taking a photo of your horse with him fully tacked up, one thing you wanna make sure, make sure your horse is freshly groomed. Make sure he looks pretty, no eye boogers, no nose boogers, and it's your personal preference, but if you don't want whiskers in your photos, you might want to consider trimming the whiskers on his face. If you're outside, the time of day that you take photos is important as well. There's two times a day, it's called the magic hour, that will give you really rich poppy color in your photos. Magic hour is either one hour before sunrise or one hour after sunset. And what it does is it just makes the colors more vibrant. Everything is just richer looking. And it's probably the best time to take photos when you're outside. I'm not usually up an hour before sunrise taking photos, but the hour after sunset is my favorite time to take pictures of my horses and just outside in general. Yes, you can duplicate a magic hour with some different editing software. There's Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom. I use both of those. But there's also free photo editing software like GIMP or Paint.net. I use Paint.net for sizing my photos. And then if there's any little extras I want to add, I also use Paint.net for that. If you're taking photos for a photo show or a photo class like an online horse show, Treat that just like you would if you were going to a real horse show. Make sure your tack is clean. Make sure your horse is clean. Make sure your outfit is neat and presentable. You don't have to go and buy a brand new outfit with the most expensive breeches, most expensive helmet. You don't have to do that. Just make sure your tack and your equipment and your clothes are neat and clean. And that will present a really nice photo. If you can, enlist the help of a family member or a friend to help you take pictures of you on your horse or near your horse. This will make it so that you can actually be on your horse or appearing in the photo with your horse. Another option, and I use this one a lot when I'm creating the thumbnails for my video images, is to set your camera on a tripod and use a timer. On the Nikon camera I have, it has a timer for it's like 10 seconds and then it takes three photos. On my Canon camera that I'm recording this on right now, it has a 10 second timer and it takes one photo. It's kind of hard to run back and forth. This is me running in between the photos to see, but it is nice that it, there is a timer option. So if you don't have someone that's available to help you, you still can take photos with you and your horse. You just gotta be pretty quick and figure out where you're gonna set your shot up. Another important tip when you're taking pictures of your horse is make sure you get a flattering angle. Sometimes we think what we think might make a good picture really doesn't. Do you like my examples? And horses are beautiful animals if they're taken in the right frame. So make sure you fill the frame with your horse 
and if you have a tiny horse, maybe get down on his level. By practicing this and taking a lot of photos of your horse at different angles, you can make some really neat pictures. Another tip that helps a lot is to have your camera with you. Most of us have a camera with us all the time because we always have our cell phones with us. A lot of the cell phones today have really incredible cameras in them. Some of the cameras are 4K, so you could do like a video in 4K if you wanted to, which is really high quality. But also they have really good photo taking capabilities. Some of the pictures that I've uploaded to my Instagram account have actually been made using my iPhone and I only have like an iPhone 5. So th that's a pretty powerful little camera I've got in my pocket and that thing is usually with me all the time. And I think the most important tip that I can offer you when you're taking photos of your horse is to practice. Every time you're out with your horse, take a photo. Take two photos, take three photos. Then take them inside or take them home with you and do a little bit of editing and see what you can come up with. With a little bit of practice, your photos will get a lot better and you will have created some incredible memories or some incredible entries for an online horse show. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday sometimes on Saturdays too. I hope you found this video helpful and I would love to see some of the photos that you take with your horse or some of the tips that you have when you're taking pictures of your horse. Again, thanks for watching and until next time, stay passionate and enjoy your ride.